talked a lot about the under, understanding his offense. What, what do you feel your understanding of the offense is right now? Especially, I mean, from, from day one of spring to now, just leaps and bounds farther than I was. Um, yeah, I, I definitely feel like today um, we didn't install um, last, we installed before Tuesday. We didn't install install before today, and felt great for the offense. With the RPOs, he talked about RPOs when we talked to him earlier. Is that the kind of thing you just need, like, 1,000 reps, 10,000 reps? You know what I mean? How, it seems like something you have to sort of be instinctive with, right? That you can read and react immediately. How is the process of, of learning how to run those things, you know, and do it effectively? How, how's that coming along, and how, how long does it take to really get it? It's definitely coming along. Um, I've had a lot of experience with RPOs. Um, you know, just being able to process it quickly and, and not trying to force the RPO is the most important part, and just trusting you know, trust the run game sometimes um, if it's not there. So it's really just about, about seeing the defense and not trying to force it. Just give them take what they give you. He talked about uh, uh, like controlling pace and knowing like the different situations where you want to go fast versus when you want to go slow. How long has it taken you to kind of understand those situations and understand when he wants you to, to control the pace like that? You know, coach has it set up really easily. So I, I know we have certain plays where I know that we're trying to get line as fast as possible and we can get the ball snapped. And then, uh, you know, if it calls certain other plays, I know I can slow it down and kind of take my time and you know, use my, uh, sorry, that's not somebody's sorry. Jerry I'm sorry. We'll sorry. The Jerry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, yeah, there's some plays that, you know, I can take my time, use my cadence to, to slow down and see what the defense is doing. So um, definitely feel comfortable with, uh, with that and knowing when he wants me to speed up and when, when he wants me to be slow. You guys always, as a quarterback, you always have an idea like, hey, when I see this coverage versus that coverage, you know traditionally how you attack it. How has that been morphing into like what Cade wants you to do as, an, as a quarterback? Like what kind of challenges has it been like? This is how I've always thought about it, but that, this is how I think of it now in this offense. You know, he wants me to see parts of the field. You know, not even just you know what coverage is it, but where what a guy's doing in this part of the field. Like when they're when they're rolling, what what a guy's doing on this side of the field. You know, and so reading off of that, where am I going? You know, I can cancel some things based on what they're doing, and that's something that I, I've got to get better at, and something you know I've definitely improved at since we began. But um, looking to looking to get even better at that. I, I felt just watching you last year, that was one of your better traits. Was your your ability to see the field and adapt to what defenses doing do you feel like that's your best trait or what if you if you were to assess yourself right now what is the big thing that you that's the best trait that you bring to the table to support that? yeah I think it's my ability to process um, coach Bell is asking a lot of me and, and that's exactly what I want I mean, it, it, he's, he's expecting me to be to, you know be able to process exactly what he wants the way he wants it and, and we're going to get it done do you find yourself thinking like a coordinator like here's a play we're going to run now here's a play we're going to run two snaps from now you know, just just trust me, Coach Bell, um, and you know, getting to know him and, and, and you know, spending time with him, um, it allows me to get inside his head, and I think that's something we're going to continue to build on throughout the spring, and then through summer, and then through through fall. Um, you know, getting on the same page with him is, is a huge deal, and so I definitely um, I'm still working to get there. And that's and that's great because you know we, we got to get better. What would you say your leadership style is? Typically? Leadership style. Um, I try to lead by example. Um, you know, I, I can be vocal sometimes, but you know, some most guys don't need that. You know, we're, most guys know what know what they need to get done, and so um, I just try and let them take care of it. And if I, I need to say something to get the guys going, then I will. What's one thing that you feel like you've done well in your scrimmages so far, and one thing that you're really trying to improve from your scrimmages? Um, something I've done well. Um, you know, I mean, that's, I, I'll, I'll tell you what I haven't done well because that's the first thing that comes to mind. You know, I just need to take what they give me sometimes. Um, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not trying to force the big play. Um, we're going to pass the ball plenty and we're going to run the ball plenty. You know, we're going to be even, and so I don't need to be, um, you know, so focused on trying to get the big play when he calls passes. We uh, heard a few times about Panate playing more outside this year. He talked about it. Kate just talked about it a couple minutes ago. Have, have you seen some new things sort of emerge from his game with, with the way he's being used? Like, like oh, you can, you can do that. That in your, your arsenal now? Definitely. Um, I threw him a fade ball one on one. He went up and got it outside. That was exciting. Um, you know, I need to give the ball more, guys. I missed him on, uh, on one today. Could have been a big touchdown. Um, but he, he's excelling and he's doing great. So yeah, I couldn't I couldn't be happier with him out there. Um, you know, he, he wins almost every round. Thank you.
You know, the more time I spend watching film, the more I can see exactly what he wants. Um, because when I'm out there, I, I don't want to have to, and I, I, I don't want it to take any time for me to process whenever he calls a play. I want to know exactly what he wants, where I'm going, so I can focus on the defense. And, and I, when you learn a new offense, it kind of takes a while to get there. And so I'm trying to spend as much time as I can, you know, at night or whenever I have, so I can get to where I don't have to think about the plays and I'm just focused on the defense. How okay. much of that is also balanced with getting the ball to a player like Gavin, who didn't get a whole lot of targets last year and is a big playmaker? I know we're, we're finding ways to get in the ball, um, you know, in, in certain, in all kinds of ways. Yeah, so he'll, he'll get some touches, no doubt about it. Could it be in the QB1 cut into your time behind the keyboard? <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. I mean, I, 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 you know, I have more free time than you think, you know, as long as I'm just focusing on taking care of my business and uh, yeah, not procrastinating, trying to still work on that. So you still play? <laughs> yes, I do, I do. Yeah, I got one at home. So I, I saw there's one in the, the little team room with the pool table. Is that just you or does anyone else mess with you? I haven't seen anyone, um, to be honest. Yeah, now I think about it. I think that's just me on there. Um, hopefully, someone else is on there. How often do people like request like a certain song? Like, hey, get on there, play this. Not often. Everybody's busy getting out of here. Um, I'll, I'll usually play after I finish film or something. I'll go in there. Yeah. All right. Have you relax? Yeah, just to finish today. What's your go-to song? Oh, uh, go-to song. I'm trying to think what I've been playing lately. Um, I don't know. I played Hotel California the other day. That was fun. That was my go-to. I don't know. That was fun. Was that piano in there when you got here? Or did it was not. It is a new addition. Yes. <laughs> Just for you, right? I have no idea. Yeah, <laughs> EJ, can we get a concert sometime? I'll leave it to you. I'm not. Make sure you bring your tip jar. <laughs> <laughs> 20 bucks a song. Right? 20 bucks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, we, we can rock it. We can pull together. <laughs> Anything else for Nate? Nate, awesome.